it's eight o'clock. Murray! Ring, 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 Oh, Murray, you're a lazy slob. That's who I am. I was trying to remember. Hey, you're wearing old sweats. I'm looking for something. What's wrong with your contact lenses? They're what I'm looking for. Look, I took them out last night. I couldn't see where I put them because I didn't have them in. Mm. It's too early for Daffy Duck. that <laughs> how about that <laughs> hey uh listen diana i've um i've just had an idea forget it forget what good boy Go and take a shower. <laughs> I shall return wearing my aftershave. You won't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, I think I've found your contact lenses. Oh, good work. Well. I've just trodden on them. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I thought you were with, um, in your... Sorry. I could have been stark naked. Well, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Seven, four, eight, forty, nine, fifty. Ah, what? Nothing. <laughs> Muscle tone. Shalom. No, no, cones up the muscles. I do this 50 times every morning. Yeah. Strengthens the finger, eh? Half and three. Right. Uh, just a minute. Uh, wait a minute. It's my turn. Murray, if you go in there before I do. 8.05 hours, pee in bathroom for 20 minutes. That's me. <laughs> Paul. Oh, what use is a schedule if we don't stick to it? What use is it? I'll think of something. Morning, Paul. Morning. Pardon? Oh, sorry, I lost my contact lenses. Oh, dear. Where did you see them last? Under Murray's foot. He doesn't like me wearing these. He says they make me look like Woody Allen on a bad day. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Oh, he's always rude. Anyone would think we were married. <laughs> Diana, have you ever thought about it? Marriage? Once. But we couldn't agree. I wanted the full white wedding in church with bridesmaids and confetti. Then? He wanted to stay single. <laughs> morning, Paul. What? Oh, morning, Murray. Morning, Woody. Loved you in Zilly. <laughs> we were uh, just talking about marriage. Please, not on a meeting. Uh, you two girls going out this afternoon? Yes, I have to go to the optician. Yeah, well, make sure you wear your glasses. Last time she tried to order her contact lenses in a betting shop. <laughs> Murray, I am not one to complain. Morning, Paul. Third time lucky. Oh, good. But I have asked you not to use my roll on deodorant. Sorry. The ball jammed. It was agony. <laughs> Hello. Yes. It's for you who. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ron. Yeah, yeah, it's still on. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Well, that's none of his business, is it? It's my house as well. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. 
What, uh, what exactly was that about? Wrong number. <laughs> Any post for me? Uh, yes, there's one from the Queensway Building Society. Really? Paul, you going out this afternoon? I might be. Oh, you are. You're playing squash. It's on the list. The list never lies. Oh, good. Why do you want to, um, Murray? Look, we must respect each other's privacy, and if you don't choose to tell me what you're planning this afternoon or what is in that letter, you have the right to remain silent. You're arresting me? <laughs> no. I, I don't mind telling you what I'm doing. I'm playing squash. What are you hiding? All right. Look, I've got a couple of mates coming round, a few beers. We're going to have a spelling bee. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't know some of the words they come up with. <laughs> and the letter? The Queensway is where we have our joint mortgage. OK, OK. But after this, you get nothing but my name, rank and serial number. Hey, you've sent my cheque back. 110 quid. Hey, I could use that money. Insufficient funds? It's bounced. What? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> And this is your half of the mortgage payment. Seriously, don't you two want to get married? Yes and no. I say yes, he says no. How did you get Paul to propose? Ah, oh, well, I got him in the right mood. Cooked his favourite meal. Candlelight, wine, soft music. Did it work? No, so I pulled a gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> of course it worked. It wasn't very romantic, though. Would you do me the honour of becoming my tax deduction? <laughs> well, at least it's better than how about shucking up together. Is that what Murray said? No, I said that. <laughs> it was a sort of trial marriage. The jury's still out. <laughs> how could you send a cheque when you knew there wasn't enough in your account? I didn't know. And besides, there will be when I pay this in. You can't think like that. Not unless you're the GLC. You have responsibilities, Murray. What about Diana? Oh, yeah. I could borrow it off her. No, no, no. I can't do that. I should think not. It's a joint account. She's broke, too. <laughs> hey, listen, you won't mention this to her, will you? She'll call me irresponsible. Say I'm unreliable. And it's undeniably... <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Murray, when we agreed to buy this property together to share it, I assumed you were sensible, respectable, Practical with money. You didn't. But, and I'm sorry to have to say this, I was wrong. You mustn't blame yourself, Paul. <laughs> You've got to sort things out, and there's only one way to do it. How? We'll make a list. <laughs> Why don't you do what I did? Cook a dinner for Paul. Oh, for Murray. We'll leave the two of you alone. Dim lights, romantic music. Wear something seductive. You're sure to get him in the mood. Yes, but for what? <laughs> Proposing. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Is it? I failed biology. <laughs> Do you mean um, proper cooking by hand from raw stuff? Yes. What's his favourite meal? Curried anything. Perfect. I've got a marvellous recipe for curried beef. Oh, I don't know. I've never cooked from a real recipe. You could do it tonight. We'll go shopping for the ingredients. Let's make a list. <laughs> now then, potential income. Off you go. Well, I could be getting paid for the artwork on that mail order catalogue. Good. If I get the job. <laughs> or I could always get a second mortgage. You can't even pay for the first one. Be practical. <laughs> How about if I sold some vital organs? If they're vital, you'll need them. <laughs> We're going shopping. I've made a list. Good, excellent. Anything you need? Oh, I need new batteries for my spare calculator. Oh, yes. They ran out when he was counting sheep last night. <laughs> maybe... Maybe I could borrow it off one of my friends. They all know you too well. You're right. What I need is a friend who doesn't know me. <laughs> maybe the building society will give me more time to pay. If you've been making repayments steadily over a number of years, perhaps they would, but when your very first check bounces, they may have doubts. Well, well, that's it then. We're in trouble. We? I've paid my half. If you can't foreclose on half a mortgage, they'll throw us all out. Don't be ridiculous. 
course they wouldn't. Oh, my God, they will, won't they? Benny, it's still on. Wouldn't be Saturday without the poker school. No, no, both the girls will be out. So will the old woman. Uh, yeah, about two o'clock then. All right, bye. That was an obscene phone call for Marsha. I took a message. What a nerve. He reversed the charges. Do you know something, Paul? You can suffer in silence louder than anyone I know. I'm about to be thrown out of my house. You expect me to whistle a happy tune? Relax. I think I know where I can get the money from. Yes, from me. No, no, no. From some of my mates. If I play my cards right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Ah. Who are you playing? The headmaster. I'm hoping to lose convincingly. Lose? It could help my career. It won't be easy, though. He's nearly 70. <laughs> Still, he has got a new pacemaker. Well, good luck. Hope he beats the hell out of you. Thank you, and uh, good luck with the spelling bee. What? Oh, yeah, so. Paul, why are you limping? Oh, I I'm practicing my sprained ankle. It's the only way he stands a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Here, nobody touch my chips. They're protected by a curse. Anyone touches my chips, all their hair falls out. <laughs> you touched my chips! That is not funny. How would you feel losing your hair at my age? Sorry, Betty. Yeah, you can give me three then, mate. Right, just because he's a little bald, you don't have to make jokes. Hey, keep your head up, I can see your cards. <laughs> Dealer draws one. And let's see. Cost you a quid to play. Right, so uh, that's uh, your one and open for five. I'm out. I may be bluffing, though. <laughs> a little voice tells me you got nothing. Your fiver and up a fiver. It's yours. Thanks, little voice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Excuse me. Uh, spell Mississippi loudly. <clears throat> Do what? <laughs> Oh, you're back early. <laughs> How'd it go then? Terrible, terrible. I won and I beat him. Lord knows I tried not to. I fell over a lot. But he fell over more. Awkward. How's the spelling bee? Um, well, we ran out of words, so we, uh, we switched to a little poker. Gambling? Here? Yeah. Oh, we're not playing for money. No. Uh, just for chips. You know, just for fun. <laughs> uh, Ron, Benny, this is Paul. Good afternoon. Howdy. Oh, you want to play? No, he doesn't. Oh, no, no, quite right. It wouldn't be fair. I am something of an expert. You played poker? Uh, no, no, but I wrote a thesis on the law of statistical probabilities and mathematical formulae applied to games of chance. <laughs> I think I saw the film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, in my opinion, there is no luck at all involved with poker. Make room for the gentleman. Uh, do, you, uh, do you know the rules? Uh, it's five cards each, isn't it? He knows the rules. Give him some chips. <laughs> no, 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 just wait a minute. No, no, this could be fun. Uh, there are safer ways of having fun, Paul. Juggling with hedgehogs, uh, shark wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, this will be applied mathematics versus brute ignorance. Uh, uh, no offence. <laughs> None taken. Mm. Who's lighting the pot? Ah, uh, that would be me. Right, it's one of these pretty pink ones, is it? <laughs> now then. 52 cards in a pack, four suits with 13 cards in each. I never knew that. <laughs> That's because you're an ignorant brute. Right, uh, I'll open for five. Well, I'm in. They're the rather fetching blue ones. <laughs> oh, thank you. Which means I need to draw 2.333 recurring cards, which, of course, I can't do, so... This could take a while. Spell incomprehensible. Well. 
don't worry. Just stick to the recipe. You'll be fine. The stuff I usually get in packets or tins. It seems funny buying nude food. <laughs> Your blue one and up a dinky red one. I'm out. Yeah, me too. You're being very silly, Benny. The odds against you beating my hand are rather long. I will double-check, though. Well, the odds against him getting a beer over his head are growing shorter. Oh, company. Hello, everybody. Whoever you are. Oh, don't stop. We're going through to the kitchen. It's this way, Diana. Exactly 3.8 to 1. Look, play. My cards are growing moss. All right. Up yours. <laughs> you could have phrased that better, but uh, what have you got? A full home. <laughs> House. Yeah, it, it's your... It is? Ha-ha, <laughs> you see, I've proved my point. Still, you did very well. You came second. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, upstairs. You can't stop now. You just won 30 quid. Yes, but I... 30? 30 quid? You mean these are worth... You said you weren't playing for money. I lied. <laughs> well, I knew you'd give me a lecture. Gambling is wrong. It wouldn't surprise me if, if, if it was illegal. People gather together for the purpose of gaming. I was right. Stop worrying, I'm a policeman. It's a raid! <laughs> I, I knew nothing about this, Constable. Sit down. He's not going to arrest you. How do you know? Because I'm his sergeant. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. it's not illegal. Oh, well, even so. What are you complaining about? You just won. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I did, didn't I? 30 pounds. And it's quite easy, really. It's not proper gambling if you're playing scientifically. Are you in or out? 30 pounds. Can I use my calculator? Anything. Now deal. Right. It's still five cards each. See? Five. <laughs> what if he doesn't propose? Then you propose to him. Oh, and have you added the crushed garlic to the onion? Of course I have. You're getting me all flustered. I hate backseat cooking. All right, all right. Oh, I'll go and get the candles. When do I put them in? <laughs> A straight flush. Mine, I think. Murray, you are undermining the laws of statistical probability. Are you playing poker? Every now and then, in between lectures. <laughs> this is a good time to pack it in. I'm a whole pound ahead. The money? Oh, no, it's quite legal, Marsha. They're policemen. They'd arrest themselves if it wasn't. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I've won two quid, but I won't let it change my way of life. <laughs> and uh, I'm up, let's see, uh, 120. How'd you do, Paul? Ha! But I shall win it back. Not from us, you won't. We're on duty in ten minutes. Oh, well, uh... So, you want to settle up, or do you want to make an enemy of a cop? Oh, yes. Um, that's, uh, one, and, uh, two. That's three altogether. And he didn't even use his calculator. <laughs> OK, let's go and fight crime. Same time next week. My place. Uh, you are welcome to bring your friend. <laughs> Right. I'll see ya. Told ya. Told ya get that mortgage money. From me. I was right. Oh, yeah. I feel a bit bad about that. <laughs> no, I don't. Come to think of it. It's not over yet. Come on. You want to go on? Yes, I have not yet proved my theory. Let's make it interesting. No limit. Can you open? Uh, no. I can. I'll open for ten pounds. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's a terrific dress. Have you finished putting it on? <laughs> Murray didn't even notice. Have you checked his pulse? He may be dead. No, they're still playing cards, and I think it's getting a bit out of hand. I owe you... quarter of a million pounds. <laughs> and up a quarter of a million pounds. Paul, you already owe me three million, your half of the house, and a night with your wife. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Lied about the last one. Don't worry. I can win it all back with this hand. What happened?
happened? He keeps doubling up. Murray, you can't take his money. Three million Oh, we're rich. <laughs> right. Everything I've won today. All or nothing. I'll see ya. Three. Three kings. Oh. Too good for me, I'm afraid. It's yours. It is? Ha! You see, I knew my theory would work. My deal. Not likely. Come on, Paul, you're taking me out to dinner. But I'm on a winning streak. You call one a streak? Look, we're even. Let's quit so I don't have the mortgage money. What mortgage money? Oh, yeah. The first payment. We didn't have enough in our account. Of course we don't. I've already paid it. Do what? I paid it last Monday. That's why there's nothing in it. I did tell you, over breakfast. You know I don't listen at breakfast. Why didn't you wait till I was conscious? Oh, Murray. Come on, dinner's ready. Come on, Paul. Now, you sit here. What? What is this? Hey, you're wearing a posh frock. Well, right. almost. Light the candle. Good luck. I've cooked your favourite meal for you. Mm. Don't, don't tell me. You've crashed the bicycle. <laughs> Candlelight, wine, soft music. Do you realise what that sort of thing can lead to? Oh, yes. Ah. Perhaps I should have warned him. Why? Nobody warned you. True. It's about time you got married. There's more to life than enjoying yourself. Hey, now that looks good enough to eat. I cooked it from a real recipe. See, it's just like in the picture. <laughs> looks great. And you look great, too. So do you, Murray. Probably. <laughs> hey, this is, this is really nice. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Do you know, if I'd known you could cook, I'd have asked you to marry... No! No! How is it? Oh! Oh, dear, let me check that. Uh, curry powder, one to two teaspoons. One to two teaspoons? I thought it said twelve.